Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be talking about mineral deficiencies in plants and I'm going to start by showing you the same image that I show my own uh, students. And we can clearly see in this picture that we have yellow leaves. We've got a really obvious one right here and you can see particularly here really notable changes in leaf colour. That's indicative of a nitrogen deficiency. Now the question I asked them is the same as the one I've got at the bottom here. So inhaled air that we take in is 78% nitrogen but when we exhale we get rid of all 78%. So we're not using the nitrogen gas. We need a source of nitrogen but nitrogen gas we're not using and plants don't use it either. So plants can't use nitrogen gas from the atmosphere. But I asked them then why Given that nitrogen deficiency is the leading cause of poor plant growth, why is this unreactive gas so vital for life? And it's because nitrogen itself is needed for protein production, and protein is used for growth. And clearly, if we don't have that, then we get poor plant growth, and ultimately could lead to plant death. So this video is going to look at mineral deficiencies, specific minerals that are required for students in the, particularly the IGCC biology specification, but I guess relevant to all in the AQA, Edexcel, OCR. So let's just talk through some of these mineral deficiencies. So here, nitrogen deficiency. So we're lacking in nitrate, specifically a form that the plant is able to take up or assimilate. So over to the right, we've got what a plant would look like if all the minerals were present, but we can see and I've got a table that I'm going to write some information down in just a moment so you can take a screenshot of that with all of the details here. It's just to show a few images to begin with. We can see that on the left we've got a plant lacking in nitrates. Growth-wise it's severely restricted. If you just look at the height you can see it's much, much smaller. So we've got poor, stunted growth and more importantly we've got yellowing yellowing of the leaves as you saw in the first image. So that's what happens when we lack nitrogen or in the source of nitrate. Phosphorus deficiency, so the plant lacking in phosphates. Again we've got on the right what a plant with a complete mineral supply would look like. If we look here for growth we can see we've got thin very few stems. Really really obvious in this particular portion of the image here. In terms of foliage, the leaves look older, they're shedding more, got scorch on the leaves. You can see that we have a real serious deficiency there. Potassium deficiency looks quite similar. Again, we've got quite a squat growth, it's quite small. If you can, if you look at, at a, I'm just drawing a simple arrow here just to show the proportion, you can see potassium deficiency is causing growth issues. We've got young leaves, very, very small looking leaves. I mean, if you just compare, if I just highlight, for example, really, really straightforward, just if we look at that leaf there, that leaf there, you can see the clear difference in size. So that's a potassium deficiency. Magnesium deficiency, growth fairly normal. We've got good growth here, but our leaves are pale. They're older, they're turning yellow. And that's because they're lacking in chlorophyll. So clearly magnesium is required for chlorophyll production. And we know we need chlorophyll to absorb sunlight for photosynthesis. So what we're getting here is ultimately a diminished level of photosynthesis. If we're lacking in magnesium, we're going to be lacking in chlorophyll. And calcium. Calcium deficiency. So we've got fairly good growth. It looks quite a bushy plant. But again... If we look at the foliage, we've got young leaves that are very, very small. And once again, we're lacking in chlorophyll. So we need calcium for that. Very, very different when we compare it to the one on the right, where we've got a complete set of minerals present. So we've just got a few images there to show the differences. But let's put some of this down into a table. So here we've got a table showing the minerals. On the left, we've got nitrates, phosphates, potassium compounds and magnesium compounds. And I'm going to write in the elements needed to, as in, so why we need these particular elements, the job of them, the function, and the symptoms that we get. That's a good overview. So the element clearly part of nitrates. If we take nitrates to begin with, the element that we're concerned with is nitrogen. 
and nitrogen is needed, as I've said previously, to make amino acids, which are used in the formation of protein. Now the function of that is cell growth. So I've already mentioned these a number of these on the previous uh, images that I was showing, but I think it's good to have it all as one big table. So deficiency symptoms, and this is particularly important for an exam question if you just need to fill in a table with the information. So what you've ultimately got is poor growth. You've got poor growth and really indicative yellow yellow leaves. Let's look at phosphate. So clearly if we are lacking phosphates we have an issue and that's because we're missing a source of this element phosphorus. Now that's needed to make DNA. Phosphorus is a key component of DNA. We're not going to go into the detailed structure of DNA in this video. I have in another one. But it's needed to make DNA and particularly cell membranes. Our lipid cell membrane contains phosphorus. It contains phospholipids, it's called. Now, the reason why phosphorus is needed in a plant, again, very general reasons needed here. We'll talk more in detail in specific videos on this. It's for respiration, but also for growth. It's a really key element. If we are lacking, if we are lacking in a source of phosphorus, then what you find is you get very poor root growth. And as you might recall from the pictures that I've showed you, we get discoloured leaves. So really notable deficiency symptoms there. Potassium compounds, the element, just for the the shape let's put in even though it's fairly obvious so it's potassium there is the element but potassium this time is needed for helping enzymes so it helps enzymes function that's what you'd need to say as the reason why we need potassium compounds again like phosphate really essential in respiration as a process, but also the process of photosynthesis. So this video is probably aimed at those in sort of year 9, year 10, looking for an introduction into mineral deficiency. In A-level you do this in a lot more detail. Now, if you're lacking a potassium, you've got a number of deficiency symptoms. You would have poor flower growth, but you also have poor fruit growth particularly if photosynthesis is being hindered. So you've got poor flower and fruit growth, plus you get discoloured leaves again. So let's just write that in. We've got discoloured leaves there. And that just leaves one, the magnesium compounds. So we're missing another key element here. If the plant were deficient, and that's magnesium. Magnesium is needed to make and really crucial for photosynthesis something called chlorophyll so we need in chlorophyll function we'll just simply write photosynthesis we said absorbing sunlight producing sugars and a real obvious deficiency symptom that you could look for is this yellowing of the leaves so we'll just put in yellow leaves so there we have some really key minerals that the plant needs, and we've talked a little bit about the deficiency symptoms should they be missing. Okay, hope all that helps.